Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's Amin here from Muslim CEO and welcome to Amin Reacts. Uh, this is a series where I go through the good, the bad and the ugly of marketing online with a focus of course on Muslim businesses or organizations or people focused on targeting Muslims and serving the Muslim market. Um, so usually I would find something random or I'd find uh, something that I, I, know, uh, I know well, I've come across. Uh, today I'm looking at my own launch good campaign, right? So Ramadan is kind of the month of crowdfunding, fundraising and uh, launch good really when it comes to marketing at least. <laughs> of course, it's actually the month of the Quran. Uh, and so we, I've been looking through a few of these campaigns. And so I thought it's about right that I critique my own campaign. So this should be juicy. This should be interesting because I'm just going to be very frank about where I could have done better. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't do a perfect campaign that I executed perfectly. And we'll we'll go into all of that. So let's just get started. Uh, hopefully I'm fair with myself. I'm not biased. Uh, let's, get, let's jump into it. So I just put myself over here and we'll start as usual right from the top with the title. So uh, this title, um, I'm quite happy with it, right? So what was my mindset when making this title? I was thinking... If somebody is not coming straight to this page, meaning they're not coming from an email I've sent out or a, or a WhatsApp message or whatever, they're seeing it uh, on Facebook shared or they're seeing it on the Launch Good uh, homepage or something like that. Um, I want to sell it and I want it to be interesting uh, and, and I want it to create curiosity. So I did it in two kind of steps. Build better men. So that's kind of what the project is about and that's the end goal of it. But I don't think that alone is very strong. So that's why I added the element of and stronger family. So I think the whole family unit being uh, under attack, I think that was a good angle. So that was the angle I went through, uh, I went for. And that's why I put in the stronger families element. And then through Islamic masculinity, I think that j just brings out curiosity. Like Islamic masculinity, like I've never heard of that before. So I like the title. I think I, I didn't go through my usual process that I might do for a you know a landing page where we're sending traffic and everything. I might I might spend half an hour just on the title. I admit I did not do that with this. Okay, then we go to the subhead. The subhead the subheadline here. Honestly, I kind of just copied this off other um, book campaigns on launch good that did well and they were quite to the point and i quite like that so that's why i got straight to the point but i did something here a little just a little something here for credibility which is help a long time content creator so that just adds a bit of credibility i've been doing this i'm experienced i know what i'm doing that kind of thing to publish print and promote a new book so it's it's um straight into the point it's right it's pretty clear what uh, I'm, I'm doing here and then uh, essential and neglected topic Islamic masculinity again that, I think that's just a curiosity element okay cool going down here you can see my target I, I've, I'm 92% of the way to my target and it's a low target right it's a low target so that's going to be reflected in the kind of effort that went into this and the detail in which I, I did this campaign right and I've talked about this on other co campaigns that your page must reflect the amount of money you're trying to raise right I would say humbly I mean we'll see right by the time I go through critiquing this but I would say that this page um, has more effort put into it versus what I'm trying to raise, if you know what I mean. So I started it off at 500 pound goal and I quickly hit that in, in two hours, which was the goal, right? I set it that low on purpose so I would hit it straight away. Now I've got the goal up at a uh, thousand pounds and uh, so, which means I'm 92% funded, which means people see that I'm 92% funded and they feel that their contribution will really make a difference to me reaching the target. OK, but to be honest with you, I'm looking to raise about two thousand pounds here. That would be uh, comfortable. OK, but I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase it incrementally. OK, so 18 days left. I mean, I'll probably reduce this eventually. I probably should reduce it now so that people know there's not much time left when they come here. Right. So I should probably do that now. I'm now looking at the this is a cover image that people will see when they're browsing the Launch Good website and stuff or when it's shared on Facebook and stuff. And it's not the best, but. I think there are some good things and bad things about it. So the bad things about it is that I don't feel it pops that much. I feel like the gray background with the light gray uh, book cover, it doesn't pop out too much. Um, the way it does pop is that it's a 3D book. And the other way that I made it pop is that I, I left white space around it. Okay, on the left and right. Before I had the book on the right and then text on the left, um, big text so people could see it in a thumbnail kind of way. But... I thought, no, no, let me just strip it down and have a lot of white space. Then I've got 
these logos here. So if people come from my audiences, these are two projects that I work on. Um, if they come from my audience, they, they see that and it builds that credibility and trust, right? And then this whole link thing and the whole banner at the bottom, honestly, I've just copied another one. I can't remember who did it, but I saw that and I just kind of liked it. Not too much thought gone into that. Okay. So now we get into the juice of it, the actual uh, story here. So like I said, I went for those str stronger families angle and uh, I started with the, with a question. What makes a solid united ummah? Which is something that everyone is interested in. Um, for, for Muslims to build a strong ummah, you need to start at the grassroots level, the family unit. If it's not a peace, then how will the ummah be? Okay, so, you know, again, okay, the copywriting here. I could spend, honestly, weeks writing this copy. Um, but I spent days instead. So, you know, keep that in mind. Yeah. And we're only trying to raise like one, two thousand uh, pounds here. So um, when it comes to what's next, so I did these little titles, these little images really pops out, uh, creates structure in the page and allows you to skim through it. Right. So what's the problem? I think I like starting with the problem. Uh, what's the problem you're solving here? Um, so, yeah, I run through the problem. The family unit is being eroded. So I've used bolding to draw attention for anyone who's skimming. Uh, when this happens, everyone suffers, all of that. And then it's like a summary thing. Men in 2020 don't feel respected and are unsure of their role in the family unit and in the world. Okay, then I made these. Like This was a little last-minute thing, which I just used uh, Google Slides, and they have some of these templates here that I think really adds a lot to it. Uh, I think this turns the campaign from a 2,000 pound campaign to a 20,000 campaign when you've got these kind of images which show the impact you're trying to deliver. So this is like uh, uh, one which is describing the problem. And so it's like it's the negative cycle of weak men, right? So it's like a cycle. So I think these images really help. So I did red for the bad stuff and I did green for the good stuff, right? And then we say the Prophet Sallam is the ultimate model for masculinity and those that follow him. So I try to uh, if people yeah, actually bother to read this, then they see, you know, people that they know. Omar al-Khattab, Salah al al right? al turul is uh, known these days. Omar al-Khattab, uh, maybe less known, I don't know. Okay, so I've done some bolding here to draw attention because the page is, is quite long. And um, I just wanted to give people enough uh, knowledge of the of the campaign, what I'm trying to do with it to generate that trust, really. And so for, th for that reason, I, I used uh, images and I used bolding to help people skim. Right. Um, so what am I doing? So do, 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 do. I'm doing this. I put a little TLDR here. I'm writing a book laying out the Islamic model for masculinity. OK, so uh, basically that's what I'm doing. Distribute the information in other formats too, like audiobook, video and podcast. So I'm trying to paint a picture of the future as well, uh, where I can take this and where I will take this. Again, another image which uh, demonstrates the impact. Who am I? So I put some logos of you know, uh, projects I'm part of, um, and my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to generate, uh, trust here, of course. So YouTube channel, I've, I've produced over 250 videos, right? Which is a lot of videos and I've done that over years. And so like, I know what I'm doing when it comes to content creation. Um, I'm also on episode 74 of my popular podcast, Mind Heist, right? So, um, popular podcast a bit more credibility I, I made a gif so gifs are actually quite easy to make you just search online gif creator uh, record your screen and then that's how i created it so it's just showing you see this gif it just shows like loads of videos like uncountable number of videos that have been produced so i thought that was a good one and then more credibility so uh one week we were up there in terms of the download charts for great britain islam and podcasts we're up there with the Enfeed podcast and so i highlighted that how does this benefit the ummah? So we always talk about, you have to make it clear what the benefit the person helping you out is going to get. And then just for the broader ummah, right? So um, I, I just went through that, basically. How will your contribution help? So I explained exactly where the um, the money will go. So I think that helps with trust. Now here I flopped a bit. I, honestly, I could have put more effort into the formatting of the page I, I think i would have had to go into html or something to do that and so i kind of just left this i know this doesn't look great it doesn't look professional so you lose a bit of trust when you leave little things like that out there um yeah and then obviously uh, if i'm nitpicking like this image is not in line with the other styles that i was using right um so that's not the best let's start a movement i like this one you know it's got that classic kind of style of photo and and it's inspiring i hope you know let's start a movement so if you'd love to see that become a reality then join in 
then to join in just you know do this so my vision so i paint the vision i paint the future i think that's what you need to do with these campaigns because this is a pre-order like the book doesn't exist so um people really have to trust you and this is what you can do so make dua contribute to campaign share this and that uh, uh, and then i put another version of the image that i made here stronger men stronger families stronger ummah contribute now okay so i think this looks like semi-professional right so that's that's quite good and that's just using different uh, templates and stuff um so now let me so the st honestly i'm happy with the the story side of things i know i know i could have spent weeks doing it and i did spent days doing it but i think it does the job now let me look at the perks um you know something that muhammad told me is that i should have put my full name that would have given more trust so um that's true um so I had a, I had a low level uh, tier here where I don't really give anything. I just say, may Allah reward you. And I was, you know, I think that's a good one just for people just, you know, five pound, right? Because the next level up is 20 pounds. So you want to give something uh, for people who just want to help out. And a few people that are, are part of my audience, they, they helped out that way. So, you know, uh, may Allah reward them for that. 20 pounds, you get one copy. So that's quite simple. Readers lead. So I don't know. I just, just thought of masculinity, leadership, stuff like that. So readers lead. UK and then international um, and I just made that clear in the title itself why there's a difference in price and stuff like that um, so you get a copy of the book as soon as it comes out then we've got if you want to get two copies because I want to really encourage people to give more than just 20 pounds right like for one book so in order to uh, incentivize people to go to the next level two copies you get 10% off right so instead of this being 50 pounds it's actually 45 pounds right one for you and one for a friend so i'm giving them ideas of why they might want to get this right so that was the idea behind there so same for here then i go to five copies so i go straight from two copies to five copies that gives them a 20 percent discount off it so it's more incentive to get it and then you can you can just hand it out the idea the marketing idea behind this is actually i want you to order five books only read one and you have four others lying around and you pass them around and i feel like word of mouth is a big way that this book is going to do well um and therefore the book has to be really good it has to be good enough that people will read it and good enough that people will recommend it and so i want people to have too many books so they hand it out okay so that's the idea there so this is just the international version then it comes to the higher tiers which honestly i never knew if people were gonna take up these offers but um but yeah, I, I definitely had to have them there anyway in case somebody feels very generous. So here you'll get five copies. And again, even if they don't want five copies, I just want to give them five copies so they might hand them out or they might have it on their bookshelf or something like that. Um, and this this was questionable, but I did it anyway. You'll be helping me spread the word to an extra 10,000 Muslims using social media promotion. So I know how to use Facebook ads. So I'm trying to tell them that. I know with that amount of money, 200 pounds, you'll be able, we, you can reach approximately 10,000 Muslims using Facebook ads. So I don't know, I feel like, I don't know really if people find that attractive, like, oh yeah, that's sick, reach 10,000 Muslims, great, I wanna contribute to that. But hey, the other thing I added, because 200 pounds, we're starting to get into the territory of more money. Um, I said, I'll do a private Q and A stream, uh, Q and A live stream. Um, and that's a group one, right? So that's for everyone. And I'll answer your questions, right? And then this one is this one is cool. I really want someone to take this one. Four hundred pounds, and only one is available. And that's basically be the one to fully fund the design of an amazing professional book cover that will help attract people to the book. Okay, and I'll send you two copies. So this one I like the idea because it's like only one is available, and so the scarcity there. And they know that if they it's tangible, right? If they pay that four hundred pound, they know they've what exactly they've paid to help me do. Right, so I like that one. Then we go to 500. And this one is p the same as the 200 one, except that uh, you, you're going to help me reach way more people. And then the 1,000 pounds one, um, you'll allow me to print 50 plus more copies, and I'll be able to reach tens of thousands of Muslims, and I'll do a one-on-one -on -one session with you. So I'm trying to up the level here in terms of the giving, what I'm giving them. And then the ultimate change maker, Sorry, I, I didn't go through the names of each one. Serious change maker and then ultimate change maker. This one, 
I said this, uh, well, the big one, big difference with this one is I'll also give you access to all content I ever make related to Islamic masculinity. This could include audiobooks, future books, Kindle versions, podcasts, and courses. So I think that ups the level in terms of value. I've said you'll be able to, you'll help me print a hundred plus more copies. So the perks, um, again, I think the perks is an area I could have done better with. I know people told me to do um, signed copies. I just thought, well, why would people value that? Um, it adds issues to logistics without adding benefit to them. Uh, I know people said, mention you. I could have mentioned, uh, if you give £100, I'll mention you on my podcast. Or I'll mention your name in the front cover of the book. Not the front, but the first page of the book. But for me, I think that's a strong one, honestly. I think that's a good one, uh, especially for businesses. So I could have done one where it's like, uh, if you're a business, pay a thousand pounds. And for the first, you know, thousand copies of the book or 10,000 copies of the book, um, your business name and, and website will be on the first page of the book. I could have done that, but I don't know, really. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, but I, if somebody was to tell me that, I would say, yeah, that's a really good idea. I think I just wanted to keep the book pure kind of thing. I don't know. Um, so, so yeah, I could have done better here, but I, I'm, I'm happy 70, 30 happy. You know what I mean? I think, I feel like the, the perks are 70% of the way there, but the 30% of the way it could have been better. So in terms of how I marketed it and all that, I won't get into this. I'll just reviewing the page. I did a video of course, and I think the video is quite good, but if you look at it here, I'll just mute it. If you look at it, when I zoom in, it becomes low quality right? And it's obviously not using a DSLR. So that's not the best. But again, for a um, for a 1000 pound thing, I think this, honestly, this page is overdoing it to an extent, like it's uh, really uh, effort has been put into it, uh, compared to what you're used to maybe on launch good. So uh, I think definitely is areas I could have done better. Maybe I definitely would have done those things if I was looking for 10,000 pounds or something, but I'm looking for one, 2000 pounds. Well, I'm, I'm looking for 2000 pounds just to be clear. You know, if anybody, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it was, it's a pretty good page, definitely areas that could have been better. And uh, yeah, uh, Salaamu Alaikum, see you in the next video and make sure you look in the comments for the link to this, the comments or the description for the link to this campaign and to Muslim CEO where we have some free training for you that will be really useful if you're trying to grow your business or your organization. Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullah.